the French Open third set. That'll be seven aces. Times McEnroe makes it look like such a simple struggling under 50 most of the evening. Piece. Yes, if you could do that all the time, but I think Lindell's hurting. Great shot. It was. So the question was, who will crack first? It could be Lindell right here. 15, 40. Close call. You when you start thinking about that. Another McEnroe volley. What a backhand. And McEnroe, look at that. Can't chase that one down. Great point. Superb. The applause of almost 13,000 in the building. Look at that angle. Mac chases this one down. Down the line, and here comes Lindell. No way. 40, love. Game to Lindell on an ace. Four aces for Lindell, and it's 5-4 McEnroe in the third. They're singing now. Love 15. Ah! McEnroe trying to bring it home, putting a little extra on that first service. Center here in July, and the crowd decidedly with McEnroe, hoping that can he can turn the tables and win a three-setter here tonight on this 9th of March. First serve. Toss of the second 30, service. 30 15, two points away from victory, which would be his second in this Michelin Tennis Challenge series. serve another ace, this place will explode. Just got a piece of the net court. George Mitchell, his hand on the cord. McEnroe has had two service winners and one ace this game.
here is another Vic, Vic Braden. Well, it was not a disappointment to the crowd. They wanted to see Mac come alive. Mac, you started slowly, but you came back strong. I surprised myself. I started awful, and uh, I couldn't really figure out what I was doing wrong, but uh, I'm glad that I persevered and, and, and got my mind into it and tried to get back to the basics, things like just like watching the ball and, and stepping in, which is what I need to do against a player like that. And I felt like uh, in the second set, he had a, he let up a little bit, and uh, from that point on, I really felt like I controlled the match once I broke his serve. Yeah, you could see that happening, but what was interesting to me was the short ball, which you always control. You were having trouble taking that short ball and coming in on it tonight. That's not a typical McEnroe. No, I, I, I'm disappointed in uh, some of the things that I did tonight, but uh, it makes me feel good that I won despite not playing that well. And uh, I know that he came in from a tournament yesterday, but uh, this is an important match for me, and uh, I still feel like uh, I can play a hell of a lot better, and he'll need to play a lot better if he's going to beat me if I play well. Well, we've always said the big measure is that if you don't play as well but you can still win, that's a great sign that you're on your way and you did hang in there. Well, that's important, I think, and uh, I feel good about the fact that the things that I do real well, I didn't really do that well today. I felt like I served pretty well. I volleyed uh, reasonable, but uh, my approach shots were disappointing and uh, I wasn't getting in on his second serve. I seemed to be winning a lot of points uh, when we were rallying, but uh, I'd like to change that a little bit so that I was winning, we'll be winning points either way. Well, John, we'd all like to play as lousy as you played. You played really well. Thank you. We, congratulations, Thank you buddy. Much. Thank you, John. Yeah. Right. Yo, John, you're on. Good to see you. Okay. Yvonne. A lot of people don't realize it's 1 a.m. your time right now. You've been, you're about three hours different. What went on today in the, in the airplanes and so on? I understand that you were still on an airplane when this first match was started. Yeah, I didn't get here uh, very early today. I got here quite, quite late and, uh, and we had some trouble with the bags because we had tight connection in Houston and uh, you know, stuff trip. Now let me ask you a question, buddy. I don't want to put you on the spot, but I was watching oh, you move. Do it <laughs> no, I don't. You were moving really well, and then all of a sudden it seemed like time, the clock, caught up with you. Your legs got a little heavy. Where am I right or wrong? Um, you're right in one aspect that uh, I wasn't moving well. Uh, you're wrong at the other one. I didn't feel I was moving well at the beginning. <laughs> uh, you know, it's. I just don't want to make any excuses. I, I have quite a few reasons for that, and uh, I think under the circumstances, I played about as well as I could today. And uh, mm -hmm. that's well, you, when you can not play as well as you'd like to play, but still in the match, it seemed like you kept saying to yourself, "Hey, if I can do this but still be close, I might be able to pull it out." Um, not really. I think um, the case rather was of John playing bad at the beginning than uh, than me doing anything. I don't think I played any differently in first, second, or third set, and. Uh, John just was really nervous and played lousy in the first, and he played all right in the second, and uh, he got a little bit tight in the third again. Well, that's the story. He says he didn't play as well as he'd like to play, but he hung in there. He has no excuses. McEnroe, the winner, will be back right after this. Thank you.